Today I am trying the Stermora Foot Peel Mask for Baby Soft Feet. It has been a long time since I've gotten a pedicure and my feet are very scaly, very calloused, and very dry. It actually hurts when one of my feet rubs up against the other one, so I am very hopeful that this mask is going to give me baby soft feet. So the directions don't say this, but from reading the reviews, people say to soak your feet in warm water 30 minutes before you put on the mask. Kind of burn ow. It's burning the cuts and like if I it's burning my nails. I accidentally used three of the things here, so it's very wet in here. Santa socks with sunglasses. I'm supposed to sit for an hour and not move my feet, aka do not do what I was just doing, but like, just listen to that. I really don't like the feeling. It feels really wet and kind of gross. My feet are burning, <laughs> like the tops of my feet. I'm not sure if it's because I have like a lot of dry skin up there, but yeah, it's not feeling too great. It's been an hour. Time to take the booties off. Next step is you're just supposed to wash them off with soap and water. Now we wait. We wait until it starts to peel like a snake, shed like a snake. So it's been six days and we've started to get some peeling on the toes specifically. Don't mind my nail polish, the peel took it off. <laughs> so I'm coming to you on Christmas Eve because I just took my sock off and this is unreal. Look. Look at my skin, and it's not even all done. Oh my god. Like, my sock bits are mixed in too. According to some of the reviews, people said it really worked for them to also soak their feet every night. So every time I showered, I made sure to soak my feet. So I just got out of the shower, and this is what I see. <laughs> I think this is why they say you're supposed to soak your feet. You can see the fresh skin underneath. Everywhere I would step, I would lose skin. If I took off my sock, a bunch of skin would come flying out. It is pretty much the end of all peeling. I still get a little bit of skin coming off after I shower, but I have a surprise or a horror for people who don't like this stuff, but. I have two Ziploc bags full of skin. It looks like kind of like really big pieces of sunburn if you've ever peeled your sunburn before. I'm really interested to see if how the peel worked on me is how it's supposed to work and if it's safe for you. So I'm going to speak to podiatrist Marion Yao. I think they're really good for people who have very little bit of dry skin, a little bit of callus 
but not for people that have massive loads of, of dead skin because I don't think it works for them. If you are considered high risk, such as diabetic or very sensitive to the fruit chemicals or salicylic acids and things like that, then it's best not to use them because the effects of them is that they peel too much of the skin off. So from the pictures I, I saw, you had a your feet weren't too bad, to be honest. You had a bit of dry skin on your foot, a little bit on your heels, a little bit on your big toe, but actually, generally, your feet it wasn't too bad at all. So from the microscope, um, what I saw before when you used the peel was that the skin was extremely dry. It was extremely cracked and you can see kind of white discoloration. Afterwards, it's amazing because a lot of the dead skin is, is gone. It's less kind of cracking, it's less, it's less dry, but there's still a little bit still there left. Again, nothing wrong with it, but it didn't completely remove all the dead skin, but it was, it, it was a good transition from what you had before to what you have now.